I had bowel meningitis when I was 10 years old, and um, it took me to Vanderbilt Children's Hospital, and they gave me a spinal tap because my spinal pressure and my um, brain pressure was just so high. It was just constant pain. We got that, stayed in the hospital for a couple of, um, couple of days, and then posted child ADHD. I couldn't sit, I couldn't stop thinking, I had constant energy, um, when we got to middle school, and uh, I got diagnosed by Vanderbilt, they said that I have ADD, or actually ADHD. But my teachers were kind of understanding, but that was so 30 years ago that nobody had a clue how to, how to handle it. They had me on Adderall and Ritalin, and I hated taking it because it didn't make me feel like myself. Late uh, high school years, college years, I was doing other stuff, taking a bunch of opiates, smoking a ton of marijuana, and doing drugs just to help level myself out. In my late 30s, middle to late 30s, things started changing. Um, I was very aggressive. I had violent thoughts, and I mean violent. If, if I were to tell you what kind of thoughts I was having, you know, I would never hurt my animals, but I was having violent thoughts about hurting my animal. And then I was hysterically crying and praying and saying, what's going on with me? You know, this isn't me, I don't know what's going on. And I talked to my functional medicine doctor. I said, I'm not me, something's wrong. And he said, you need to check out the Amy Clinic. Well, whatever he said, I did. So I instantly called the Amy Clinic. So coming down here, I was scared. Because I was thinking, what if they don't find anything? Then what I do? But we got here, as soon as it started, I said, okay, this is totally different than any other test that I've ever done. So I started to get a little bit of hope. And throughout that two-day period, I w we would go back to the hotel, and I was kind of had some excitement because I felt like, you know, things are going to change. We got done. We did the um, Dr. Ali went through all the brain scans and what they found and kind of what's going on. And he was giving me answers. He was saying things that no one else has ever said before, but it was in my head and I was thanking him and feeling him and all this kind of stuff. Like for example, um, the Adderall XR is supposed to last like 10 hours. It only lasted like seven for me. And he said, before I said anything, he said, I bet you're burning through your medicine. I was like, Absolutely. How do, how do you know that? He's like, well, look at your scan right here, and this is why. You're blah, 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 is doing this and this and that. And then about 15 minutes into it, he said, we can help you. And I instantly bust out in tears and started crying. You guys saved my life, and I am forever indebted to you guys for what y'all have done for me. Life-changing. I tell my story to everybody because they're gonna know somebody who needs the Amen Clinic. I'm happy, I am clear-headed, my emotions are intact, and man, what a feeling. Mm -hmm.